a young girl with the angiometrous pathology on the surface of the eye starting from the limbus and extending into the lower fornix we just made a small hole in the conjunctiva with 100 micron fugo blade tip we do it without causing any bleeding then the subconjunctival tissues are being ballooned with elon and here is 600 micron fugo blade tip with it the feeding vessels of the paralimbal lesions are being closed the machine is set at the lowest uh, power setting go close to the tortuous vessel activate it momentarily and then pull back and see if anything has changed you have to actually touch the lesion before it can be removed so repeated repeatedly touching the angiometrous lesion or the tortuous vessels with very low energy of fugo blade it is surprising that the tissue disappear just disappears once again injecting helon and going back again to any angiometrous lesion nearby I was expecting that there may be some bleeding from these relatively large vessels but they are proving quite docile just get in under the conjunctiva and approach the tumor the vascular tumor activate the fugo blade at very low energies and this tissue just disappears so i think that we have been able to manage the feeding vessel which was coming from below there may be many feuding vessels we do not know but that is what was visible visible to us now we make a hole in the conjunctiva in the similar fashion as before and balloon the conjunctiva with sodium hyaluronate and now we will try to touch whatever angiometrous pathology is visible and slowly it has to be done very slowly going close to that large vascular lesion which is so prominent so it's being touched it has to be touched again and again you cannot do this in one go I 
I first touch the lesion, then activate the tip momentarily. Here, going close to the limbus. The tip is activated for a longer period. This kind of surgery requires patience. There is every chance of the angiometrous tissue growing up again because it is impossible to remove 100% of the tissue. But we can remove a large part of the tumor. Injecting saline to set up the tissues. So activation, activation of the tip is kept for longer and the activated tip is moved side to side. There is still plenty of tissue to be treated. Here I am injecting sodium hyaluronate to make space for the incoming tip which is now constantly activated and is moving under the conjunctiva to remove some of the lesion close to the limbus. Cosmetic result is very important for this patient. As we can see, we have covered quite a bit of ground. I just thought of touching the conjunctiva directly instead of subconjunctival tissues, touching directly over the blood vessels once started bleeding. Doesn't matter, we can leave it as such. And for the time being, this much surgery seems enough. The fixation sutures are being.